Hello, welcome to this Photo Rangers video. Uh, today I want to show you how to clean your sensor. Now, um, cleaning the sensor is one of those things that has lots of different views. People have um, uh, quite different opinions about what's the best way to clean the sensor and today I'm going to show you how I do it. Um, because of the conditions that we typically shoot in, our sensors are always dirty. And you can tell you have a dirty sensor if when you download your images, you're looking at them in, uh, on the computer on a big screen and you see dust spots all over the image. I tend to, you, you see them more when you stop down, so when you're shooting at an um, aperture of say f22, you'll certainly, if your sensor's dirty, you'll certainly start seeing some spots on them. And when that happens, it's got to be cleaned because you can't get them off any other way. So um, what I'm going to show you is just the basic way that, I, that we do that here. Uh, I'm not going to use any sort of cleaning chemical. I uh, try to try to keep it uh, very very simple, and uh, I've been using this method for quite a while and have never harmed a sensor. So uh, let's kind of show you how to go through the process. Now I've got uh, two cameras with me here today. I'm going to show you on this uh, standard DSLR, and uh, I've also got um, the mirrorless camera, which uh, I shoot exclusively with now. And there's a slight difference between the two, which is why I'm, I'll show you on both cameras. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, get the sensor ready to be cleaned. And to, for the DSLR, that means I've got to lock up the mirror. And most DSLRs, when you turn them on, in the menu item, you'll find a, uh, usually in your tool section, in Canon it's under this tool section, on this one it's under a, a section called sensor cleaning. I choose that and I choose to clean manually. Now what that does is it locks up the mirror. It pulls the mirror up. You'll hear it just now. There it goes. The mirror's up. So now when I disengage the lens, pull the lens off. The sensor is immediately visible. Now I forgot to show you my tools and uh, maybe I'll back up and do that really quick. Sorry about that. Uh, what I'm going to be using today is I'm going to use a standard rocket blower and I'll use uh, a product called Peck Pad. Now this is a lint free ultra soft wipe that I buy from Amazon. I buy them from Amazon because uh, here in Australia they're not readily available and I can buy this package for $14 Australian, that includes the shipping. So good value, there's a hundred pads in there, it'll last you a long time, and I recommend it. Um, you probably could use any sort of chemical free, lint free uh, wipes that are designed for um, highly sensitive uh, electronic equipment. Uh, these are the ones I always use and they seem to work. Now the, the last thing is, is a very high tech device, and I'll, I'll just take this out of my, my package here and just show you. Um, that is a popsicle stick. Uh, it's never been used, so uh, luckily it doesn't have uh, gooey stuff on it because that wouldn't be good cleaning a sensor. But uh, it's just a popsicle stick, and I, and I like this one because it's got just a flat end on it. It's not a rounded end, and you'll see why that's important in just a second. And I'll pull out one of these wipes. Um, probably best not to pull this out until right when you got your sensor ready to go and to be cleaned, but I'm going to... I'm going to take this out for ease of use now and we'll get back to that camera. So that mirror is still locked up in here and I'll just pull off the lens. So probably can't see through the video but the sensor is right in there. Now what I want to do is I want to take this PEC pad, well, first of all, uh, I guess I should tell you I always blow out the inside. So what I do is I turn my camera up, and what this does is it cleans away any lint or dust that may just be loose in there. Give it a good blow, blow it in the corners, and hopefully anything loose will just fall out. Now, I wouldn't use compressed air because you don't know what's inside that can. I just I like these rocket blowers because they blow, uh, they give you a nice good stream of air, and uh, always tends to work the best for me. All right, back to the peck pad. So I'll take my peck pad, wipe, uh, wind it around my popsicle stick, 
fold it up. So I get a little wipe, looks something like that. Now what I do is I wipe from the top to the bottom of my sensor horizontally, just like this. And then I do the same thing vertically. All the way across the sensor. I usually just do that once. Again, reattach my lens. Now, on the DSLR, when I turn my camera off, the lens will drop back, the mirror will drop back into place. There we go. So, that will clean most anything you get on your sensor, particularly if you're seeing just your typical dust spots in your images. For the mirrorless, it's very much the same thing. Uh, the only difference for the mirrorless camera is I don't have to lock up the lens, I mean the mirror, because there's not a mirror there. So bear with me for a second while I, while I dig out a pick pad. Just need one. I always use a new one every time. I keep this bag closed. Probably also good to be in as, as dust and lint free environment as you can. I wouldn't be doing this outside. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, there's lots of products that you can buy to clean your sensor. There's uh, brushes, there's uh, sensor wipes, there's all sorts of things. Um, they all probably work and I don't know if one is any better than the other, but um, when I was looking at sending my camera away and it costing anywhere from $70 to $90 to get a sensor clean and now shooting the mirrorless cameras, uh, I find that my sensor gets dirtier quicker. Uh, I just can't afford that, so I use these pet pads and use this simple approach. Again, sensor is a little easier to get to inside the mirrorless camera. It's a little bit closer to the edge. Do a horizontal wipe and a vertical wipe. Okay. All right. Now again. That, that should eliminate all um, dust spots on your sensor. Now what I typically do is once I get the sensor cleaned, I then stop down the lens to F22. So there's F22 on this one. And then I take a shot of a, usually a bright white surface, uh, something nice and plain so there's not a lot of uh, contrast or texture. Take a shot upload it into the computer and have a look. If I do see that there's still some spots on there, I note the location. So if there's a spot in the upper left corner, I take my, turn my camera off again, repeat this process and pay special attention to the upper left corner and just make sure I give that a good wipe. Make sure I didn't accidentally miss it the first time around. Now again, as I said, I've been doing this for a long time and I've yet to find an occasion where that didn't clean the sensor and I've yet to ruin a sensor. So there will be people who say that this is destructive and it's not good for your sensor and don't do it under any circumstances. But let me tell you, I reckon sensors, uh, they are sensitive electronic pieces of equipment, but um, it's okay to use a lint-free soft pad and give them a little bit of a wipe. I haven't had any problem. Okay, hope you enjoyed that. If there's uh, anything, any questions that you have or uh, you got anything to add, feel free to shoot us a message or uh, uh, send us an email and we'll get back to you. Take care.